to me in the VTuber community, there have been two recent dramas that happened. One is the common occurrence, unfortunately, and two happened with Kevin and I. We're mostly gonna talk about the common occurrence when you create your VTuber model. Um, and we're not gonna be we're not gonna talk about the Kevin Art situation. Um, so let's get started. This is the worst. <laughs> so what do I mean the common occurrence when you create your VTuber model? So Remember in that one video when I mentioned the small little situation and I wasn't going to go in depth about it? Well, unfortunately, that is the common occurrence. So when you create your own VTuber model, either you create it yourself and you do live duty yourself, or you go to commission your own model, unfortunately, there will be some people that end up copying or have heavy inspiration, no inspiration, or some inspiration from a content creator they genuinely enjoy, like the model, whatever have you. In this situation, it seems like it's not even that sort of case, unlike the Smalula situation, where they genuinely liked Shy Lily's model and aesthetic, and didn't like, didn't watch the content, I mean, but in this case, they knew who Powder was, but didn't watch the content at all. They just knew of her. And this case didn't end up getting resolved peacefully, unfortunately. Now, right here, I am on my private Twitter account because she blocked me from saying anything. But right here, you can see that this is when she first mentions it. Um, I just want to come out and say I'm aware of another VTuber in the space that with a similar design and color and well war name. I have already made an effort in the past to communicate with both artist and VTuber. Not much happened other than I was able to voice my concern. And I, I understand and there I understand that is a possibility and overlap in this oversaturated space and I have found and comfort in talking with my own artist and designer about the matter. With their advice, I hope and try to ignore it. Knowing what I know about the creation of the lookalike, I am disappointed and I do question ethics. But overall, there is one powder and I do wish to bar P from from inspiration and do wish people would be more creative and that's not a bad thing to say but at the time this is apparently when she was in talking with um lily okay so i just want to show you guys what lily's model looks like this is her model um the art doesn't look similar but as you can see the model kind of does and yeah, that's fine. I can understand why she's worried, but it doesn't, you know, make sense for her to go after her like this. If you take a look at Shy Lily and what she respond to, um, the small Lola situation, she essentially ignored it to a point she couldn't. Now, with this situation, it got to a point where Lily had to release a doc, and as you can see, Cherry, um, her artist, Lily's mo model artist, released, um, some statement on what happened as well on her side. Um, if you want to read this, it'll be in the link down below. But no, this is what Lily and Cherry had said because they were essentially forced to. And unlike the Shy Lily situation where it was Shy Lily who was forced to say something because it got out of hand, it's flipped on its head because Powder started the situation. Because she said that she didn't like this girl's model art 
but was in contact with them. Now, if she would have just stayed in contact and handled this in private, I feel like nothing would have happened. And that's the thing. A lot of things aren't handled in private anymore, unfortunately. And I wish they would have. Because we're all adults. But right now on the VTuber scene, people don't handle shit in private when it really should be in private. It gets to the point now that the VTuber scene is just full of drama. To the point that you're seeing the same situation over and over again. And people are getting sick of it. I mean, Rima... Um, and her highlights video, which will be linked down below, essentially said her um, fan base, a library's fan base, are getting sick of the same situation over and over again because it happens so frequently. And it does. It really, really, really does. I also want to take the time to say, if you type in VTuber drama up at the top, you'll get a whole list of drama no matter what the fuck it is you'll get a whole fucking list corporate indie what have you like i said the vtuber scene is full of drama but it doesn't goddamn matter because it's drama every damn day because people can't pinpoint everything it's it's like a liar and Rima said, it's like a two for one special at the shopping mart. You go to Walmart, you get a two for one. But right now it's like everything's coming out because nobody wants to keep everything private. And with this situation, I'm getting so damn tired of it because everybody is getting so pissed off at people being copycats but you have this other side that's getting so damn tired of people pointing it out saying yeah we know but at this point we don't give a shit all i'm saying is maybe just take a minute and wait and see the other side before going after somebody Especially since the model art is expensive, which it should be. The VTuber model for just rigging is also expensive, which it should be. And then combining, the <clears throat> combining those together, you could get over like a thousand dollars. Now, if you don't know anything about model rigging or anything like that, I'll link a couple videos down below. But from what I know from rigging and the model art, it could get quite pricey, depending on which person you go to. Um, I know Shy Lily's model, the new one she's using now, cost over eight k, eight thousand dollars. So, with VTuber models, I've heard if it's in the sketching process, which this one was, it clearly was and you have issues with it or someone else has issues with it you really need to fix them before they get the artist gets done with the sketching process because if you don't then you're gonna have to pay for a new model in full because VTuber models are expensive. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think they should be. Some prices can get very pricey depending on who you go to. But it's just on who you go to. So my closing thoughts on everything is that Powder is a bitch. And she... Personally... Needs to get her head out of her ass. You don't send your fans after someone like that, especially when you intended to do that. 
I personally probably won't be watching her anymore, which is fine. I can do that. But because of this whole situation, you now get to see who that person truly is on the outside. And that's unfortunately hard to witness. When someone does something that breaks, I guess, kayfabe at this point, and does something online that's horrid and appalling, it just breaks the illusion that maybe this poor person is a horrible person. I really think this person needs to grow up, get their head out of their ass, and be a decent human being and use their conscience more. Like, and like they said, apparently they feel like it has nothing to do with being a big content creator versus a small one. But it does. I'm sending those people after a small content creator makes a big deal. That could push someone off the internet forever. Make them switch accounts. Um, make them have to buy a new fucking model. And maybe I'll go over that in another video. But her not willing to participate or help this person pass the sketching phase of a model, which is a lot of money. And it could really, like, anticipate, like, what her, her branding is going to be, you know? And maybe I'll go in uh, another video of, like, what it truly takes to make a model. Because this could really determine how people perceive her in the future. Unfortunately, this is an appalling, horrid situation that I don't wish anybody in. And, yeah. I'm really disturbed by it and pissed off. Trying now for my videos to save everything for the end, but this one was a hard one. I didn't like witnessing it, and I hate seeing so many VTubers nowadays get written off as copycats um, just because they have the same color scheme and, you know, the same idea as somebody else. And it's uh, heartbreaking and it pisses me off and seeing someone you know send hate against someone else for a color scheme some horns and some ears i'm sorry but you don't own the color scheme you don't own the idea as a demon i mean hell i don't own the idea of a cat vtuber and i'm not gonna send hate against someone else Shocking. I fucking know. Whatever. Before I go on another tangent, I'm gonna end off here. See you in the next one. I really wish these people would have fucking dealt with this in private. And I'll see you after I get off vacation. Bye. I, mean, I didn't intend harm from other people. I intended harm from myself to them, right? Um, yeah, but that, that's not what happened, girl. I understand. That's not what happened at all. I understand, but I'm I'm trying to like get your advice in this. Should well, I? Like, I, I would say never really admit that I. I would never really like intend was... harm from me to somebody else. You know, like I don't I don't think <laughs> well, that way. That's so.